Things come into fashion as fast as they go out of it today. In case you're not ready to spend money on upgrading your style, there's no problem at all. On the contrary, vintage items are making a comeback into modern fashion. You might want to go and comb through the attic, and this checklist will help you find the best pieces to rock every day. Let's start out with sunglasses. In 2023, the most fashionable glasses are the ones that were fashionable a few decades ago. The 70s are calling. You can choose any retro frame and shape that you like. These can be oversized sunglasses, aviators, round sunglasses, you name it. Tinted lenses are cool too, and you can choose yellow, orange, and even red ones. In case you fail to find the sunglasses of your dreams in the attic, you can find something like this online. I mean, these glasses are everything. Trendy metallic materials? Tick. Tinted lenses? Tick. Vintage style frame? Tick. The good thing about modern glasses is now they come with modern features like UV protection, polarized lenses, and scratch-resistant coatings. I doubt if tie-dye ever went out of fashion, but today it's trendier than ever. You might think tie-dye originated somewhere in America in the 60s, but it's not truly so. It originated as far back as the 6th century, and it was popular back then in China and Japan. Today, we use special textile dyes to create this quaint effect. But when tie-dye appeared, people knew how to achieve those fancy washed-out designs with the help of berries, leaves, roots, and flowers. All these natural ingredients were boiled, and then the garments to be dyed were soaked in that hot and colorful water. As you see, the technique stayed pretty much the same. We only changed the colorants to make it easier. By the way, it got popular in the U.S. way earlier than in the 60s. Tie-dye first rose in popularity around the 20s and 30s, as it was a cheap and efficient way to decorate homes and clothes. Seems like the 21st century is the era of smartwatches. However, classic style ones are trendy too. Fun fact here, the first wristwatch ever was actually worn by women and not men. And it was for a reason. Men's fashion was all about a pocket watch some centuries ago, and the first wristwatch was marketed as a bracelet for women. Today, we're free to wear whatever we want. Also, if you want to add a vintage touch to your look but don't want to miss out on technological advances, you can grab a watch like this. Some of the vintage style watches today have a bunch of extra functions like fitness tracking and smartwatch connectivity. Now let's talk jeans and denim. They seem to be something truly American, but here's the kicker. They were popularized in the US, but they originate from a totally different place. Actually, jeans are of mixed origins. They're half Italian and half French. Jeans date back to the 16th century Italy, and the word itself derives from the word Genoese. Back then, the Italian sailors from Genoa would wear tough twill trousers that would later convert into something we know as real jeans today. As for fabric, it originates from 17th century France. Its original name is Serge de Nîmes, and it was a cotton twill cloth made of wool and silk. It surely changed over time, and in 1873, Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis patented the pants we still love today. To achieve a perfect jeans look in 2023, opt for a high waist, distressed details, and a faded wash. Retro-style sneakers are trending now, but hey, what's the difference between vintage and retro? Well, vintage mostly refers to the actual age of an item. It should be at least 20 years old. And retro pieces don't necessarily have to be old, they can simply imitate some era from the past. So, sneakers from the 80s and 90s are back in style, with chunky soles, bright colors, and bold logos. Many of these styles are being re-released by popular brands with modern updates like cushioned insoles and breathable materials. This way, you can profit both from the cool old design and cool modern technologies. Even the smallest details can completely change your look. So, if you aren't ready to try on something truly vintage, you can adjust to a new look step by step. Start with socks. Retro style sneakers are on top right now, and so are statement socks. Choose the color that best matches your favorite pair of shoes, and you're good to go. 
Another tiny detail that can help you upgrade your look is a chain belt. It's up to you how you want to drape your belt. You can place it on your hips or your waist. The 90s era had a lot of trends that you can get inspired by today to look edgy. But stylists advised most to try the 90s casual style. Minimalistic outfits, no super complicated hairdos, just casual and chic outfits. You can choose baggy t-shirts like this one, slip dresses, or even sportswear if you like them. Crochet was super popular back in the 70s, and it's making its comeback now. I know you probably might have thought it was ugly when you were in high school, but today it's a hot trend. Ask your granny to make a nice crochet cardigan, but in case she doesn't feel like helping you out, go thrift shopping. All the best and the most authentic items are there. By the way, crochet is not only about pullovers and cardigans, these can also be dresses and even swimsuits. Sometimes it seems that all the stylists have split into two categories, skinny advocates and wide leg advocates. Skinny jeans do look edgy, but if you tend to avoid wide leg pants, there are many reasons why you might want to reconsider it. First off, specialists say that wide leg pants last longer as there are fewer frictions with your body. Second, health professionals also believe wide pants are better as they don't block blood circulation as skinny jeans may. Plus, as there's less contact with the skin, it may even help avoid some pretty unpleasant skin conditions. Moreover, once you get tired of wide leg style, you can tailor your pants and make them slimmer, which helps promote conscious consumption. Last but not least, wide leg pants are trendy in 2023. Trends aren't only about clothes, they're also about patterns. So this year, Polka Dot is making its triumphant comeback to the fashion world as it was a prominent pattern back in the 80s, and many celebrities would wear it. Not only celebrities, but even royalty also fancied polka dot outfits. For instance, Princess Diana wore this magnificent black and white polka dot dress back in 1988. And in 2022, Kate Middleton wore a pretty much similar dress too. Many years ago, leather was mostly seen as fabric for outerwear. But today, stylists don't have any more prejudice. The best option you can choose is Eco Leather. It can be used for a whole bunch of items. These can be pants, skirts, and even crop tops. Do not limit yourself to the classic black color. Get creative and choose any color you like. Anyway, vintage fashion is not only about your clothes. How about giving a vintage touch to your apartment? You can make your home feel like a fancy hotel from old movies. Just add a couple of tapered candles, candelabras, or vintage candelabra-style chandeliers. For instance, this candle holder definitely looks vintage and will give your room an elegant and romantic atmosphere. Also, the English cottage style is getting viral on the internet. To get that authentic look, you don't need to move out and look for a real cottage. You can cozy up your bedroom with plush textiles, for instance. Opt for a muted color palette. Yeah, they didn't really have neon pillows back then. Add some decor to every nook of your room, and there you have it, a vintage-style room. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.